Ho, ho, ho. What is going on, everybody? I want to share with you some very good Christmas ideas for a miniature painter, tabletop gaming player, a miniature um, collector, a board game, somebody that plays a lot of board games, right? Board game collector. And uh, this is going to be great for parents and friends of people that know their friend is really into this but they're not a part of it so they don't really understand what to get their buddy or uh, friend for Christmas. So we are going to just go through a whole bunch of things here and hopefully you guys get some ideas for what you would like to give for Christmas to your friends. Um, starting out we're going to go real basic. These are dice. D6s. They come in 30, they're from Chessex. They come in 36, uh, 36 dice to a block. We call them blocks when we board gamers. Uh, and they're 12 millimeter dice. So D6s, D6 dice, Chessex, 12 mil. Perfect gift for any kind of tabletop game player. We always, always, always end up with way more dice than we need. And yet we still are willing to buy even more because we like dice. That's just part of the thing, right? Next up, if your friend or child is a miniature painter and they do not paint with something called a wet palette, let's see if we can, that's the Masterson Stay Wet Handy Palette, right? So painting with a wet palette keeps your acrylic paint wet longer. Here you go. These are all wet or a little wet. Let's see if we can make a little mess here. See, they're still wet. These have been in there for days. That's not very common for acrylic paint. Basically, it is a plastic container with a sponge and some uh, parchment paper. And that gives you a wet palette and it seals so you can keep your paint wet longer. It's also good for color blending and it just makes you a better painter like immediately and you save paint. You can easily, easily make one with a Tupperware and paper towels and baking paper, parchment paper. But if you want to give it as a gift, it's kind of nice. That one is like the go-to, the Masterson's Stay Wet Palette. All of this stuff will be in the description below as long as I can find it on eBay. Um, next one, super simple, super obvious, paint brushes. We miniature painters, need paint brushes and lots of them and because of what we do and we're all bad painters we ruin our brushes right so a lot of these are unused these ones are the straws probably all unused but it's good to have them on hand or on deck everybody loves collecting paint brushes if they paint you end up i this is not all i have this is just what i have nearby so you end up with a lot of it's almost like another collection in itself uh, a lot of artists collect art supplies that's kind of how it works um so if you go to michael's go to amazon go to ebay go to maybe even like walmart i i personally am launching a brush line uh coming soon to kickstarter you know look for that in the future if you're a subscriber but any kind of uh nylon small size round uh, an example this would be like a very large, it's still a short handle, but it's a very large size that you probably never need. So you can see the size comparison here. These are very small, mostly round tipped, round tip brushes. So we use a lot of these. You can get ones like this with the triangular handle, which make a nice, you know, it looks like a nice gift. Uh, those are on Amazon, those are pretty cheap. Uh, these ones that are black and green, you can get at Michael's. Um, a lot of times they also do a buy one get one free sale so you could buy your friend like five brushes and then uh, get five free ones right if you're oh, um, let's see we got if you know they are a hobbyist there's some tools they might need an exacto knife exacto blade hobby knife um, they probably have the standard, like, little silver, I don't know where it is, but the silver handle one. Uh, so if you want to get one special, maybe look for one with, like, a fat, thick handle. 
just so it has a little bit of a like a feel to it that makes it seem special right definitely you could use the regular exacto knife but this looks a little more like a gift because it's got an interesting handle if your friend or child airbrushes are they into airbrushing paint masks these ones are like a dollar this one's a little more it's a better filter goes over your head All right and that is for airbrushing to filter out the particles in the air after about i believe seven ten inches in the air the airbrush paint becomes dust which so is not a big deal for like other members of the house but the person in the room using it they might want the mask because there'll be a lot of basically dust in the air it's like paint dust uh, it's fairly we use almost exclusively non-toxic paint so it's pretty safe even with an airbrush but at the very least i would recommend even picking up some of these i think they're like a dollar at harbor freight just these like dust masks with a little filter they are pretty wonderful um, these would be great stocking stuffers too because a lot of these don't cost very much money oh staying on airbrush for a minute airbrush cleaner a lot of people who airbrush are going to go through a lot of airbrush cleaner so something like this would always 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 be useful for an airbrush painter some other things that are very useful for an airbrush painter are airbrush thinner and airbrush flow improver these also end up being used a lot these are vallejo's brand that airbrush cleaner was badger brand vallejo makes an airbrush cleaner as well um, all wonderful super convenient for airbrush painting a little tiny uh, squeeze bottle a little plastic squeeze bottle with a little tip put water in it and there you go you can squeeze it shoot water out very handy to keep by you when you airbrush helps clean the airbrush all the above add little drops of water to your paint add paint or add water to your wet palette awesome moving on this is a solar display if your uh, recipient of your gift is paints by a window perhaps or they like to display their miniatures they might want something like this basically when it's out in the sun or under a really bright light this will rotate you can put miniatures on it it's good for taking photos and videos you can see some of those on my channel uh, these are super cool super cheap you can find them on ebay another option that's much bigger and probably better would be like a cake rotating cake display people use those both in airbrushing to be able to turn the model they're airbrushing without touching it or for display videos right and those will be battery powered that one's solar uh, so you have to do it during the sun right during daytime which sometimes miniature painters aren't outside so uh, moving on oh another thing you noticed from the brushes they were in a coffee cup uh, it was a great Dane one this is like a beagle one obviously you know what a coffee cup is but what you don't know is that miniature painters use coffee cups a lot for holding brushes and for cleaning their brushes so if you got a custom-made coffee cup or a special one that looked cool like that would be something they would probably enjoy moving on to painting stuff and we we're just gonna be jumping around this is just for you to watch get some ideas uh, if you want to go in the description below and check out the links feel free and hopefully you find something that you like this is dry pigments these are vallejo dry pigments they come in sets and single there's like a rust set with all kinds of orange browns to black or actually just orange browns and dark reds and then there's like a black and gray set um, i have both they're wonderful a lot of people i think want to try and play with pigments and they just don't because they don't want to buy them so they would be like an excellent excellent gift these are tufts flower tufts specifically they add that extra little detail to the base of a model making a model pop they're not very expensive but they are something a lot of people don't splurge on if they're really stretching their hobby dollars they're not going for the tufts of flowers right they are maybe spending their money on paint these are from shadow edge miniatures a lot of different little flowers i like this little variety set you can just place one or two here and there use them sparingly or i think this white and pink set is cool um, 
and it just makes your bases pop. It gives you that little extra that's going to make somebody stop and look at your army when it's on the table. If you want to get them paint and not dry pigment and not flowers, metal color, Vallejo metal color is the best acrylic metallic paint, period, bar none. They come in like 12 different shades of silver to steel to chrome to iron everything in between my absolute favorite one is jet exhaust it's like a real dark one that can be highlighted but not as dark as say the gunmetal also the exhaust manifold is very nice these i think are coming in sets now they are called vallejo metal color they're the best a lot of people stick with their current brand and they just don't want to try anything new so those make a great gift because they are the best and then a month later, they're going to thank you, like, hey, you know you know those uh, paints you bought me, Aunt Matilda? I love them, right? So just so you know, you'll be the coolest aunt ever. Another thing all miniatures painters use are washes. These are the Games Workshop washes. We got Normal Oil Gloss, Druky Violet, Agrax Earthshade. These are their washes. They do make a wash set wonderful everybody knows Nuln oil and agrax earthshade in the miniature painting tabletop gaming everything it's like magic liquid a lot of other companies make washes army painter strong tone dark tone we got a whole bunch of them here um they're also very nice they come in a dropper and they have a good uh set you know good properties that they settle in the recesses uh something a little more heavy duty would be like a scale 75 ink intensity set these are the ink colors they're like washes but they're way more powerful pigment there's more pigment in them and you can then dilute them yourself to make a wash and the absolute most pigment you can get would for acrylic i believe would be the f dalarani fw acrylic inks these are glass jars they're liquid inks they're water-based they come with droppers fantastic you can get them at like a michael's or online they are wonderful if your hobbyist is a airbrush user we already showed you the mask and the cleaner and the thinner um, this is primer if you like to prime your miniatures or they like to prime their miniatures with an airbrush they're going through this stuff like crazy there are so many primers I recommend something you can get them in like a size like this this is like a Vallejo primer here or you can get them in a much bigger bottle size I think this is like a 275 or no it's 120 mil I think they go up to like 300 mil um, this is the Steinle res this is very very nice and they make them in colors also this can come in a set of black gray and white or a set with the colors fantastic airbrush primer people will love it they're gonna to want to use it if they're a hobbyist and they build models a lot super glue you're going through this by the barrel right you're using a ton of super glue a lot of people I know we all prefer the Loctite gel control or any of the gel ones they come in this handy dandy little squeeze bottle uh, I'm a little frugal in that when this feels like it's out I cut the black plastic open and then I used the little actual tube in there for like basing and stuff. It's a little less controlled and accurate at that point, but it's still there's still glue in there, I promise you. This is Plastistruck plastic weld, plastic glue. This is the best glue I've ever used on plastic models. You are gonna be surprised at how much this is gonna change your life or your uh, recipient's life because it, so when you glue two pieces of plastic together, a lot of times there is a gap where the pieces, right, they stick like this and there's a little gap right there. And you'll see the line, right? You see the seam line basically. What this does is melt both sides of the plastic. And, be, and then when you squish them together, it almost causes the plastic to push up. So now you got that. And that fills in, that melted plastic as it squeezes up, fills in that seam line. It makes building models much more pleasurable. Uh, I think people will like it a lot if more people tried it. And that brand, Plastistruct, is very good. If they 
are into miniature painting any kind of removable mounting putty, blue tack, poster tack, mounting putty. This stuff is fantastic. This is what you're gonna use when you put that on like a wooden spool and that would be right there, right? And then you can put the guy on there that you're working on and he stays. So use end up using a lot of that. When you're priming models, you might put it on something like that, hold it, spray, and you know keep your hands clean. Disposable gloves, of course, would be a good one. If they are a miniature painter and they play Warhammer, Warhammer 40K, get them Vallejo thick mud. Earth texture, acrylic, thick mud, acrylic, any of these. They make them in all kinds of different colors, all kinds of different textures. This gray one, industrial thick mud, is my absolute favorite. This is the quickest, easiest way to build up interesting texture on your bases for your models. And even with just that, a base coat and a dry brush, or just that and a wash and a dry brush, you are stepping your bases up. If you're a hobbyist, you know having nice bases is important to you. This here is the Masters Brush Cleaner and Preserver. This is the top of the line, most popular. I don't know if, I'm gonna say it's the top of the line because it's the absolute most popular from any kind of canvas painter to acrylics and watercolor, not oil, uh, but still some oil, uh, to miniature painting to everything. This is what we use to clean our brushes and you would swirl your brush around in there, get soap on it, rinse it off, and it helps keep your brushes nice. Uh, every single miniature painter I know should have this. If you don't want this, um, you could use a bar of white soap, I believe. This is definitely gonna have some extra, like probably olive oil or something in there to keep your uh, brushes, like return to their shape, right? Shape them. So I don't know if the white bar of soap will do that for you. Condition your hair on your brushes, but the white bar of soap will at least help keep them clean if you need to. If you're looking to spend a little bit more money, a nice airbrush. This is the Extreme Patriot 105. This has all kinds of little features, little dial, little tack valve, has a cover for the needle. Oh, I have the top in, right? Nice cup. This is a super nice airbrush. You can get this anywhere around a hundred bucks. This is a great gift. People love this. The Patriot 105, the Extreme 105, both of them are fantastic airbrushes and are pretty much going to cover anything they're ever going to do with it forever. Unless they're really into airbrushing, then they might buy something else down the road. This will last years and years of their journey, so they will appreciate this for a very long time, assuming they don't break it. But it is made, it's a pretty heavy metal, so it's not like it just falls once and breaks. Uh, it's got the nice high trigger, which is a little more comfy then say this one which i have plugged in this it or screwed in this is just a zenny uh, airbrush this came with a small airbrush compressor let's see can you see that i'm dragging something this is a little airbrush compressor over there see that that is not a good compressor but it is 100 percent totally usable for what we do for priming it basically has an on off that's its only feature and it has a little dial to kind of alter the psi but it does not do much although i did use that for a very long time until i got a nice bigger compressor which is down here you can't see uh, i got it from ebay i'll link that below it's i think on zenny or something like that zenny which is the brand of this airbrush the brand of that mini compressor and the brand of my big one is a private label company as far as i know so they are getting they're finding products in china and slapping the label zenny on them and ordering them um so far they've all been nice like i still use this one to varnish and prime because i just don't need that much control i'm basically just push down for air pull back for paint there was probably a little bit of water still in there and I got the compressor still has air in it, but that is a fantastic gift. There's a little set that comes with that airbrush. 
and that little compressor for like $40. If your friend or child doesn't have an airbrush at all, I think they would really get a kick out of that little set because that's what I started with. And I, I don't use the compressor anymore, but I did upgrade that. I'm very happy I did upgrade that, but I did use that little tiny compressor for a very long time. And when you're doing nothing that requires like a steady pressure in your airflow, uh, that one's just fine. If you're like using it for primers and base, like solid base coats, it is totally, totally capable. So don't let anybody fool you that it is not, because it is. Uh, this thing here is the Robart paint shaker. You strap a paint in there, right? You can put a paint right in there, and basically it's on, off. You push the button on, off. That just shakes your paint yeah seems kind of silly extravagant this is a gift so i bought that with my own money because i like it but if you're giving it as a gift somebody will will like it they make two they make one battery powered and one ac you can plug in i just i wouldn't get the battery powered because you're going to use it probably enough that you don't want to be buying batteries for it and when you get into like paints something like scale 75 or army painter paints you'll notice they are they like a little thicker medium or binder in them i think and they just don't like shake as well so that shaker the paint shaker is really really good for them and it's good for all paints that fit on that little thing to make sure they are fully fully mixed and you know just you get that perfect uh consistency when you paint and you put those on there put a couple drops on the wet palette now they're going to last for a week you know, you don't have to do it that often. It's not like you're doing it over and over again. And besides that, there's just a couple other things. One being uh, glasses. If you see uh, your child squinting a lot at the models, uh, maybe make an optometrist appointment and see, get an eye test. I didn't know I had a stigmatism or something. I don't know what it's called. But uh, when I got my glasses, um, it was like, Wow, I had no idea. I couldn't see perfectly until I put these on and saw better. Uh, I only wear these though when I actually paint. I don't really wear them day to day. I don't know if I'm supposed to or not. I should ask my doctor. Um, something like this. A little squeaky, but a nice big comfy office chair. I worked from a folding metal chair for a very long time with a cushion just set on it. And it works fine, of course. Humans can handle a lot of, you know pain and suffering but the nice chair definitely helps any kind of new desk with little cubbies and drawers uh, any kind of organizational device like that up there with little drawers uh, miniature painters hobbyists they love this stuff <coughs> this is fantastic any kind of paint rack go into ebay or go and search this or go to the links below um, nail polish rack paint rack, miniature paint rack, hobby paint rack, miniature paint display, nail polish display, uh, airbrush organizer. These are all great gift ideas. And another one, probably the last one, no, two more. Second to last one is a awesome lamp. If you are painting, if say your significant other's painting in the living room and he's just using whatever lights are on, it's not good enough. Like get a real lamp and you want daylight bulbs. You want the full spectrum light, white light, not warm, not cool. You want the whitest white light you can get. Uh, LEDs are really nice for this. Um, up here, I have a 96 LED panel. You'll see my arm turn to white as it's as bright as the sun. Oh, look at that. It disappears. My skin's so white and reflective. You can't even see it in under that light. But that is providing some clean white light on my desk when I work. So it is just a dream come true. I think anybody who... I got this on eBay. Anybody who has that will be very happy. It's game changing. The little tiny light over there is what I used prior to getting that. And I had no idea light could be so light. It is amazing. And last... Uh, but not least, if you know what, if you're a little more familiar with what they do or what they, like, if you pay attention when they talk, 
Um, you'll know what army they play. And, of course, you could buy something for them for their army. If they play, like, Warhammer, Age of Sigmar, or War Machine or something, they might be like, oh, I play, you know, Space Marines. Well, then you could go to your local game store and say, hey, my so-and-so plays Space Marines, and I want to get them a Christmas gift and get them a box, right? 50 bucks, 70 bucks, 80 bucks. Get them a box, they'll be happy. Everybody that plays always collects more than they need, and they're happy to have more than they need. And of course, a gift card to your friendly local game store where we all love to spend our money. And I think that's about it for you. So hopefully this is helpful and will give you the opportunity to spread holiday joy to a miniature painter or hobbyist in your life. And uh, Merry Christmas. And I hope you have uh, happy holidays. Let me know in the questions below too. If you have any specific questions on certain items, and if I've used them, I'll be able to give you advice. Like if you're thinking about buying a specific brand or something for someone and want to get some advice, I'll be happy to do that in the comments below.